Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to continue working on this journal that we started and it is a design team project for Ula La Vintage Treasures and it is using her Crystal and Pearls Kit Club kit and the kit is called Ruffles and Roses and I'm using her digitals in here um, as well as the well this came with the uh, ruffles and roses kit but you can also purchase the digital separately on her Etsy shop so I'll leave the link below and we'll go ahead and continue to create so what I wanted to do I'll give you my thoughts so after playing around with some of these things and the file folder, I decided I was going to go with a tri-fold. So I folded this gently. I didn't score it or anything because I want to leave it to be a soft fold. And then I'm going to add this on top. So I'm going to make it about the same width as the large envelope. So the large envelope is about five and a quarter wide, and this is about uh, right under five and a half, a little bit shy of five and a half. And my goal is to add some collaging on here and then attach this particular piece to the top. Then we'll open out like this and out like this and we can have maybe some maybe one of this in here for a little pocket and then maybe um, some pockets here with tags in them we'll just see what we feel like we're just gonna wing it and just see how it goes along the way so i I was gonna cut this down just a little bit. Now I can only cut it down probably a half an inch or so. So I'll go ahead and cut that down and I'll be right back. You totally don't need to cut it down, but I just wanted to cut it down so that um, it wasn't, you know, too much longer than the and so this is about how much I cut off here. All right, let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do. Um, let's work on this part here. Now, if I'm gonna put this here, let's see. I wanted to do something maybe here where I can put this underneath right and then have this as the closure here if I tie it with this, right, let's just say I tie it with this, comes from the back, right, and then I definitely, okay, so that would be the main closure somehow, and then this closure here, I was going to use this button, but I wasn't sure how I was going to bring that through. So my idea is okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to cover this on the inside 
And the reason why I'm going to cover this is not just because of that, but I want to reinforce this edge here. So I have this material that Doreen included, and I'm going to make a very thin, I'm going to put a very thin line of the fabric in here just so that I can reinforce that edge. And then, yeah, I'm going to do it actually on the inside of the envelope so that it doesn't mess with the pocket. All right, so we'll cut it just a little bit short. And then I'll cut it off here. Maybe I'll use this. No, no, okay. So let me cut a very small bit of this off. About, let's just say this much, about an inch. Okay. So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Put this in here, so that's gonna go in there. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off here. And I'm going to put this in here like this. Okay. All right. So... I think I'm gonna use some of this tacky glue. I'll move this out of the way just for now. This. And I'm gonna glue under here. is going to be glued down in there. I think I've got enough glue. Let me just put a little bit here. Okay. And then just a little bit of glue here. So that's how that's going to go. And then I want to add some of the paper. Let's see. I'm going to add... I'm going to use this portion of the paper. I'm going to cut it about here. Okay, I don't want this on the fold. I just want it above the fold. Right above the fold. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac for this. All right, let's go ahead and glue this. Okay. Gonna go ahead and put that down. And cut the excess off. All right. So it gives me a little bit of the ruffle, a little bit of the flower, and the pretty pearls. All right, and that gives me the reinforced edge, which I feel like we need because this is going to be open and closed quite a bit on the front of the journal. And I didn't want it to be on the outside because I just felt like that was a little bit much. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in here. And I'm only going to glue this side and this side. That will give me a tuck behind the bag as well as something here. So, go ahead and do that. Okay, let that dry a little bit. That'll be cute there. And we want to cover this one. We still have this piece that we can use that we cut off of this one. So we want to put that here. That a little bit or we could put that in here we could do that all right I'm gonna leave this here this one has a big shank on the bottom so I'm debating whether I want to put a hole in here put
put this here. Mm, I don't want to ruin it. But either way, we could put a brad. So let's try it, okay? Let's give it a shot. I'm nervous, but we're going to try it anyway. All right, so let me pencil it in here. All right, let's see if I put this here. I think the hole has to go there. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Either way, we can always put a eyelet. Okay. If this doesn't work. So my thought was to put this through here. Okay. And then tie something here. So we can some a seam binding. All right, so I've got some seam binding here. Let's see if I can put this through somehow. Let's tie, I need something longer than that. Tie a knot. This will keep it in. And then a bow, right? And then that will stick out. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but it looks cute, and I want to try it. All right, so we have that like that. Then we need, let me get some twine. Okay, so we're going to put this in the back, and that way we can tie it there. So, let's see. Let me get my, this thing here. We're gonna glue this in between these two. And then voila, that'll be our top closure. Like that. Oops. Like that. Okay. So we'll glue that once we're done. All right, so we've got the closure situated. We can come back, decorate this later. Let's get on to decorating this. Okay, because I wanted this in the back too. All right, we, these are two are our closures. So now we're gonna go ahead and cover this. Personally, would like to cover it with this stuff. Um, I don't normally like to cover the part where I'm going to turn over, but it's the way it's got to be, guys. I think for a minute, if I put that in there, and now I cover that. So let's see, this is going to go here and here for our holes. And then we're going to measure. Right 
going to do the larger hole on this and we're going to push this into that. That way it stops. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do it right here. And here. Here. And this will go in here. Perfect. And then we can just glue this down as our base layer. Perfect. How exciting. Okay. We can always erase those, but that will be the inside. I think what I'm going to do is I'll sew this, so I'll just do a little bit of glue. Maybe I'll even do a glue stick. interrupted you guys so let's get back to it all right now we're gonna glue this on oops i don't think i wanted paper there that's all right get this as close as we can and we'll get that first part of the paper attached and this will be the paper that doesn't attach right it's just going to be for aesthetics. Let's get this here. Okay. I'm going to add more glue here. And this looks really pretty. Now with that paper, Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry before I bend it. And then this will go here. And let's see how we're gonna cover the front. Let's see what we have here for fabrics. Wouldn't that be pretty to cover a portion of this in this fabric? So gorgeous. So, uh, I don't want to bend that. But this would be almost covered up by that. So what we could do, potentially, Definitely want this inside, I 
think. Little fabric flips, those would be pretty for that. how gorgeous this lace is. Definitely want to use some of this. Let's see what we have in here. Take this one out. It's a pretty little pin can be used. thinking I could cover just like a portion of it right because you're not gonna see this part it's gonna be glued down on here could do like a little patchwork okay I think I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this paper that we used what other papers we have here. Okay, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cover this back part here. this in half okay I'm gonna use this one in the back because I love this gorgeous here. Okay. Let's get this down here. And then we're going to use this. We're going to use a portion of this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Yep, we're cutting it. That's what we're doing. So we basically cut it in half. out of that.
So this is just going to be temporary till I sew it. I'm gonna sew it. Uh-oh. I will be covering this. All right, that gives me some of the fabric. Let that um, go ahead and dry for a little bit. And then over here, some of that pretty this one right add a little bit here let's see where does this fold now this one folds here the front. We have some of this. Whoop. Let's see. I'm going to use some of this to make the kind of enforce that edge there, but also kind of soften it a little bit. We'll go here, and we have a pretty, pretty little pink side there. We'll be able to see that under there, and then under here, we're going to add some of this pretty fabric. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to add a little bit of this under here. We'll go here. So we're going to cut this here. 
here in half. And then in half again. Love this textured fabric. It is so pretty. And it will allow the craft paper to kind of peek through. So that'll be nice. Hopefully we have enough to do that. And that. See how nice that will look. All right, and then we can't forget our cute little tie that we're gonna use. We're going to use this. This has to go in here. Let's make sure that is the metal before we add this. Yeah, we were, we were so close. Okay, we are gonna put this string here. And then, we are going to put this on top. But I'm not, oops, I forgot I, I need to sew everything. So before I do anything, I'm gonna sew. So I'll be back, I'll have everything sewn and then we'll put it all together. Okay guys, I have this all sewn up just around the edges here. And I am ready to glue on my um, paper here. So I think what I'm going to do is glue that on with hot glue. Yep. I feel like I might want to tuck something under here though. So just to make sure I can do that, I'm just going to cut a piece of paper here. You don't have to use this, but since this is just a scrap piece, I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down to smooth that that I probably shouldn't have made so thick. Let me rethink that. Take this off. Okay. So let's glue this down. We'll use uh, Fabri-Tac. Okay, I'm gonna put some glue down here for the string. And then I'm gonna 
glue this down on top. Okay. And then if I put this on top with hot glue, right, then I'll just cut um, glue on three sides. All right, so I'm going to glue there, there. So let me just make sure I don't go past here. Here go guys. Here we go. Okay, so this is going here. So we're going on this side. We're gonna glue here. Here. And here. before it dries okay here goes nothing Whoa. where did the paper towel go did it I think no we didn't this side didn't glue it dried too quick that's okay so you can use um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over it with the nib a little bit because the nib will remelt it Put a little bit more glue there press it down is going like that and that's going to go around that and now we have our trifold yay you guys how awesome is this i mean we patched it together and we use all different elements in the thing here and i had to use two different sheets to cover this but it looks really cool we used the beautiful fabric that she included and this pretty fabric where you can see the brown, which then brings the brown from these elements, which I just love. Isn't that just so fun? So when we, um, now this will be what I use as a closure, right? To completely close everything. And... I'm just using that piece of so there we go now we have our cover done we have our envelope stack on top and then what we can do is we can um, finish decorating the inside of this so we have some pieces to cover here we thought maybe we could use that pocket here make lots of embellishments to go in all of these pockets and then on the inside we're gonna have this pocket here just a little tuck there 
And then here, we're gonna add some journaling pages that fold. So you'll have the top part that's about, you know, the yay big, and then the bottom part will be about this long. And then over here, I do wanna do some pockets. So how fun is this, you guys? We have um, the beginnings here. <laughs> well, more than just the beginnings of this journal done. All right, guys, so we'll come back and we'll work on the internal pages and decorating, making some embellishments for this, figuring out what else we're going to do. Maybe we'll change it up, but how fun is this? All right, guys, so thanks so much for stopping by and uh, for joining me on this adventure. I just love trying to come up with fun unique things and love i'm having fun with this folio so this is really fun all right guys i will talk to you in the next part bye for now